We got to talk. And if y'all saw, I don't know if y'all saw the caption. It says, trigger warning, colon, detox 2.0. Tonight, I will be answering questions. We are going to be having, uh, listen, y'all. We are going to have our normal Q&As and stuff like that. But I'm, I'm posting pictures. Like, I'm going to show y'all how detox works. I'm going to show y'all how detox symptoms look, how they feel, what happens when you don't detox yourself. Because a lot of times, seeing is believing for y'all, and I could sit here and do this all day. I could sit here and just yap, yap, yap. But I want y'all to see it for yourself. I want y'all to understand what's going on. But before we start, I got to do my ditty. I got to I gotta do what we normally do. First of all, thank y'all for coming up in here. Peace to the earth, peace to the guys, because I understand all about divine timing and y'all supposed to be up in here. Secondly, there's no such thing as stupid questions. There's no such thing as craziness up in here. We talk about it all from sexual do's and don'ts, pros and cons, what you should and should not do to help you out. All the way to why these people acting like this over this and this state and why the, the government ain't doing blah, blah, blah. We talk about it all. But I will say this. When it comes down to people being racist and bigot and stuff like that in my comment section, it's not even a discussion. Like, I will I will kick you out in a heartbeat. You know, like, we all thank you for the rose, love. I see you. What's up, what's up bad nun? Like, it's all love and it's all peace up in here. But at the same time, I'm not for the, I'm not for the BS. I'm not for the BS at all. Third rule, understand that we got a contest we trying to win. So all the little gifts I got up there, that's to get your boy in there. Every new follower that we get is like a hundred. Let me see, it's like a hundred points, and no, it's fifty points. And every battle we go to, if we decide to go into like the uh, the co-host battle stuff, is like a hundred uh, points for everyone that we win. So guess what? If y'all see somebody up in here that y'all know ain't a part of the team, tell them follow. If y'all want to send to keep going, tap the screen. If y'all want to see me win, go get a gift that it should be like somewhere up here. But before I say anything else, I appreciate y'all for being up here. Um, Nick Heron forty nine. Who is this dude? Can I go live with him? Dang, you look like I can't go live with you. But anyways, um, it's just trolls being trolls, y'all. It's trolls being trolls. But um, like I said before, we about to dive in tonight. We about to dive in, we about to dive in, we about to show love, we about to do our thing. Cause this top this is off topic, but my mom is always been getting super bad migraines. Well then you in the right you in the right channel. You in the right live. We about to go into it. Literally just came out. Tro I, see, that's why I don't be. I don't be worried about people. Like the detox literally dropped. Like nobody even knew it dropped until like what thirty minutes ago, an hour ago, when I posted the video. So people just be on. They be on that BS. They be on one. I ain't got time for them. But all up, the family up. Oh, we could really get started. Not a family up in here. Let me get. The, let me get my screen together. So without further delay, because I know y'all know me, I could just talk. I could just talk. Um, just just say you saying what I what I recommend for migraine. Just stay up in here. I'm about to like I'm about to break all that stuff down. I'm breaking. I'm about to break all that stuff down. Just stay up in here. Y'all keep tapping the screen so we get some more people up in here. But without further introduction, y'all, Detox 2.0 has dropped. It's here. You go to coachbrian.com or you click the link in my bio. It takes you straight up there. But we about to talk about why. We about to talk about why this thing is about to take the world by storm. We about to talk about how it works. We about to talk about why, if you even need to do this doggone thing, because it ain't for everybody. Psych is for everybody. But let me tell y'all something. Like I said before on my page, I think it was like a week or two ago. This is about to change the game. Y'all have never seen nothing like this before. The way we broke down the protocol, the way we broke down the schedule, the way we broke, well, I'm saying schedule loosely, the way we broke down how to do this, how to mix that, like there's gems in here that they don't want you to have. There's gems in here that they they take stuff like that down off of YouTube, off of Google, or they hide it because they don't want people with these type of remedies. They don't want people with these type of things that's going to get their health to the next level because you stop relying on them at that point. Who is them? Of course, we're talking about Big Pharma. Of, of course, we're talking about the industries that's trying to keep our health system down. But this detox right here, let me tell you something. All of the stuff that people be worried about and will this happen and blah, 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 this, that, and the third, this is one of the Yes, y'all so lucky, bro. First of all, it's still uploading. I wish it would have been up, uh, done uploading by now. But for all y'all that don't know, y'all, well, for the people that do know, but for all y'all that don't know, I have a client named Moonbeam, a uh, real name Josephine, or however y'all want to associate with it. And we did an interview because she was the only person that I gave the new detox to, like outside of the team. Like she's the only person that that had it and actually tried. Thank y'all so much for the hearts. I see the hearts coming in. I got a good feeling about tonight, y'all. Keep it coming. I got a good feeling about tonight. We about to change the world. But um. I gave her the detox. I was like, look, you've been rolling with us for a long time. Like she's been one of my long clients for like a good bit of months so far. We've been getting her health higher and higher and higher. Everything she's been doing has been progressing her forward. I was like, well, let's try this. Let's 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 see how your body responds to this. Because I mean, I already know it's foolproof, but it was it just would have been dope to see somebody who I know is going to do it, who I know is going to stick with it, who I know is going to give like accurate, constructive, honest feedback, do it. 
and we recorded the whole Zoom interview and everything. It's posting right now. It's what it's uploading right now on YouTube. So hopefully by the end of the night, it should be up. Before y'all that don't follow my YouTube, go hit that follow button and just hit the post notifications so the way it pop up, you're going to see because that's the only thing we're posting until something else big comes around. But we're going to dive into why y'all should detox. We're going to dive into why it's so important. So let me pull up the green screen. Let me tell y'all something. And like I said before, before we get started, before we even get started, I said my trigger warning in the caption, and I'm telling y'all right now, y'all about to see some stuff. Y'all about to see some stuff. I'm about to take y'all there, and it is what it is. Like I, I'm not trying to hold back the truth no more. I'm not. I'm not trying to. I'm not trying to sugarcoat and be that person that's like, oh well, I'm not gonna really show y'all what happened if you don't take care of your body. But I'm just gonna warn you about it. No, y'all gotta see it. At this point, y'all have to see it. At this point, y'all got to grab a hold of what's really going on. And if I don't do that, and if I don't present that to y'all, and if I'm not doing my job properly, and y'all coming to my page looking for information and looking for healing and stuff like that, then that's a disservice to y'all. I know we like to talk about Yaki and Sabi and Ginger and all of them, but there's there's they, they're the ones that's famous. They're the ones that actually got up there. I'm not saying what they, what they did was not credible or nothing like that, but you'll be surprised how many Dr. Sabies we got around here that people just don't know about. You know what I'm saying? So while I'm here and while I have a platform for forever, how long it lasts, I'm just going to be one of those front runners that's going to do my job. I'm going to be one of those people that's going to present love and I'm going to present the facts to y'all. I'm not going to sugarcoat it. I can't do it no more. Like TikTok be trying to censor this and censor that and get stuff out of the way. I'm not I'm not playing that game no more. So y'all just going to see it for what it is while I pull up. Give me a second while I pull up the green screen. So let's dive in. Let's dive in. Where my chart at? Let's dive in. All right. So let me see if I can zoom it out because it was acting stupid earlier. I had tested this earlier and everything, y'all. <laughs> I was trying to make sure my screen popped in right. All right. So here's what we're going to break down the 10 things, the 10 signs and symptoms that your body needs a detox. So whether it be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, all 10, no matter if you have one of these symptoms, you should do my detox. You should definitely go get my detox. We're going to start with number one is trouble and losing weight. If you are facing difficulty and losing excess weight, then your body is probably full of toxins. And we're going to dive into what that looks like once we get to like the constipation part. But I'm just going to scientifically break this down for right now. So if your body is having a really, really hard time dropping weight, that's showing that. Oh, my God. Can you not come for me? Now, don't worry, baby. Don't worry. Baby. Let me tell you something. I ain't coming for nobody. I'm coming. I'm bringing truth. I'm at your door with the truth, baby. So look, by the, I promise you, by the end of this live, you're going to be them by you like four, five. I'm, come on. Like, <laughs> man, look, it's, a, it's up there. I'm going to say it's up there. But if you somebody that struggles with losing weight, hell, even maintaining weight, nine times out of ten, you need a detox. What most people don't realize is your lymphatic system, because we don't have an immune system. Your, your lymphatic system and your, and your thyroid glands, those work hand in hand. The reason why people metabolize, like somebody like me, I don't have hyperthyroidism, but my, uh, my metabolism is naturally faster because I'm more muscularly dense. You know, I'm very lean. My th my thyroids are very active, but they're not overactive. And I'm a healthy young person, you know. So if I'm doing the right things and flushing myself out every week and every much pretty much how I'm supposed to, then guess what? It's already going to flush me out and do what I have to do so I can go up and go down the way to have I choose. But to the average person that's out here eating these complex sugars, these complex carbs, they out here not eating the right things. They never flush their body out ever in life or in months. Is that in the third? They've been going about it the wrong way. Guess what? They're going to have a problem losing weight and your doctor going to be like, well, take this. Well, go on the diet and blah, 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 blah. Y'all, if the if the if the problem was as simple as just go on the diet and all of the and all of the, the, the problems going to go away, that would man. Look, I'm not saying a, a high volume fruit and vegetable uh, diet doesn't work. But what I'm saying is you've been eating and moving a certain type of way for the past 20, 30, 40 plus years. So if you've been moving in that direction and you've been doing those things, your body recomposes itself every so often. You don't have the same cells or the same structure or the same molecular uh, density that you had months ago. Like you literally are walking in an entirely new body based off of what you've been putting inside of your body. And a lot of people like to think it's just foods that you eat, even though it is that. It's stuff that you're drinking. It's the medicines that you're taking. It's the lotions that you're putting on yourself. It's the soaps that you're putting on yourself. It's the toothpaste that you're using. Reasons why I made videos about oil pulling. Reasons why I made videos about uh, natural deodorants. Reasons why I made videos about sauna boxes and stuff like that. Reason why I made I dropped on my storyline night for 30 minutes ago about why you're supposed to be outside for your amount of tolerance uh, period. Just go outside. Like I be trying to tell people that uh, things are changing, y'all. 
in the next 10 to 15 years, because I'm, I'm into stocks and dividends and stuff like that. So I have to know economically what's going on. And if you follow the money, you'll follow how the future of the land and the earth is going. In the next 10 to 15 years, they're planning to make everything, especially uh, motor vehicles, and things like that, pushing more towards the electric side, which means there's going to be a lot more radioactivity around us, no matter how you want to do it. They already got a whole bunch of gas fuels and stuff like that in the air from our uh, our petroleum and all that type of stuff right now. But imagine when we're going to have charging stations in every state. We're going to have electric roads. We're going to have electric cars. It's going to be different. It's the, the radiology around us is going to be, what well, the radioactivity around us is going to be a lot more crazier than what it is now. And we're like, oh, well, we're emit we're stopping the emissions of gas, but you're increasing the emissions of radioactivity around us. So with that being said, yes, you can eat properly and do what you have to do. But this is another reason why you need to detox your body, because what y'all don't understand is heavy. Mo what's going on? Moonbeam. I was just talking about you, Moonbeam. Well, I was just talking about you. Peace and love. Um, Y'all go follow her. Go follow her right now. We need to get her to a thousand followers, because when we do, she gets to start going live on here and talking with us. Y'all go follow her right now. But um, what I was about to say, so the reason why I say, y'all, we need detox is because you have heavy metals within your blood, in your body. Like, you may not see, you may not understand it, but it's, it's so small and it's on a molecular level to where most people can't until you actually dive within and start studying the blood. Okay, I have this mineral, it's too high. That's signs of this. Oh, this particular bottom is too high or too low, but that's signs of this. Reasons why I keep trying to tell people... I understand that how I move and how I eat is not how you guys, it's not, it's not personal for your body. You know, it's not the, it's not a carbon copy for your body. Reasons why the detox that I made is more universal. Y'all know me. I could be a little bit of extremist when it comes down to eating a certain type of way. I can eat one thing for the longest amount of time and it doesn't bother me. But for the average person, y'all need balance. Y'all need structure. Reasons why with the new detox, I tell y'all how to eat this, how to mix this with that. This herb goes like this. This goes here. You drink this with this. This flushes out this thing. Oh, here's an affirmation. Here's this. Like, I have this thing so tailor-made, you're going to swear to God it's a customized protocol just for you. So stop playing and go get it. But reason number two, fatigue. Little that people know. The only the only reason why you get a rush from eating meats and things of that nature is because of the adrenaline and the cortisol that's captured inside of the meat. Now, whenever we start getting fatigued, that signs that we're not getting enough electrolytes via fruits and vegetables and even sometimes the waters that we're drinking. But we have to understand that our adrenal glands are going down. People that are fatigued all the time, oh, I'm, I'm tired, baby. I need a nap. I always need this, that, and the third. And they zinc and their iron levels be so low or borderline anemic. Notice that these people are typically the most tired. Why? Because they have so many things. Stag yeah, think about it. When your body, when your lymphatic system gets to a stagnant point, and when it gets to the point of like just things are not really moving how it's supposed to, we forget that the skin is the third kidney. I've been preaching that for the past Jennifer Marsh, for the past four five months. I've been trying to get that inside of people's head. The skin is the third kidney. Whenever you're tired and your skin, your your kidney's trying to filtrate, but it can't. Preforms of acidosis start happening. She said I'm anemic, so I definitely understand. You feel me? So y'all know I ain't capping. We got somebody up in here that's anemic that's backing me up. You feel me? But at the same time. You have pre-signs of acidosis when your kidneys stop filtrating. And now you we have these things called they're triangular lipids. Well, yeah, I can say that triangular lipids on top of the they sit on top of the kidneys. If you put your hand, if you stand up and you put your hands on your waist and you put your thumbs down, that's typically where your kidneys are gen, the general area where they're located at. So if you have these adrenal glands that sit right on top of the kidneys, they're trying to push extra adrenaline or cortisol out to break down all the complex carbs and sugars and all the stuff that we put inside our body. So now the pancreas is working overtime. Now the, the uh, liver is working overtime. Now the colon is working overtime. And now we fatigue. You're not fatigued because, you're, well, I have a desk job and I'm here all day and blah, 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 blah. I don't really do too much, but I'm always tired because your insides have yet to clock the hell off. You need to let them things clock off. Like even whenever you switch, that's what, that's another thing I keep trying to tell my clients. Like whenever you're switching from what you're eating to at least an 80, 20 diet or shoot, even a 50, 50 diet. Cause the average person is not eating meat and fruits and vegetables on a 50, 50 percentage It's more so like a 90, 10, 90% 90 meats and all these other sugars and 10% fruits and vegetables. If we're going to keep it a buck. So when you even start adjusting like that, now your lymphatic system starts to flush. Now your kidneys and your adrenals start to flush. And now your body is like, Woo! Like we was already tired. Now we gotta work a little bit more. Reasons why you might get a little fatigue and brain fog. But after that first day of getting all them glands and them organs and them neurons and all that stuff firing off how they should and stuff trying to get out of the body, 
it's gonna be good. Like I was, yo, I swear to God, I wish Moonbeam could have go live with us right now because she went through literally what happens when your lymphatic system ascends to the next level. Cause she already eats fairly, fairly well. Like I've been with her for a minute, but like whenever her body really started opening up to that next level of hydration, that next level, cause you gotta think about it when you detox. Now, it, things are starting to come out, but now you can absorb properly. You have people that eat maybe once or twice a day, and there's not a lot of food. The doctor's going to be quick to say, oh, you have PCOS, or you have blah, blah, this, that, and the third. No, baby, you're clogged up, and your body doesn't know how to revitalize and absorb the proper uh, minerals that it needs and the nutrients for um for the foods that you're eating. So you can have somebody that's two, 300 pounds and eat like a bird, but still be big. The body is tired. The body hasn't clocked off. The adrenal glands haven't clocked off. So everything is like it's like it's like trying to I, I need a nap. I'm trying to log give me an analogy. It's it's like trying it's like trying to lift your hand up and you got a 50 pound weight on it. And I just need one bite of food and I'll be good for the day. I know there's one bite of it'll be good for me. But you got 50 pounds worth of weights. You got 50 pounds worth of crystallized. Uh, that's what that because think about it. That's all that's all arthritis and all that stuff is. It's just crystallized waste. And like once you have that, think about that analogy. Now think about when your body actually has a chance to push that off the way and I can take my bite now. Now your body regulates. Now you got the vitamins and minerals that you need. But if you're just eating, and even if you're eating somewhat healthy, but you still retaining all this weight, you got stuff clogged up in you that has yet to be that, that has yet to come out. Your alpha and your beta receptors all off. So your fat metabolism is all up and down. Your liver and your pancreas storing energy and using it the wrong way. Your adrenal glands then popped out so much adrenaline, it hasn't had the chance to doggone recover yet. And peak this. And it, it happens in both the men and women. Even if you're young, I'm 27. So even if you're somebody that's my age or younger, your sex drive start going down. Your sexual performance starts going down. You start getting dry. You, you can't get stuff up. Everything has yet to clock off. I keep trying to tell people you have to rest. You have to clean at least once a month. At least once a month. Like if you're going to keep doing what you've been doing, cool. That's on you. That's your prerogative. That's what you do. That's your jam. But at least clean yourself out once a month. Reasons why I made this detox so specific to every glandular part of the body. Your neurons are going to fire back. Your digestive system is going to fire back. Your lymphatic system for sure is going to fire back. Your circulation is going to get up. Your performance is going to thrive. You might have mental fog for a day or two. But then once all of that inflammation, because all mental fog is the release of inflammation. Once that stuff gets out the way and you know you're on a 10-day detox, or even if you want to do the 7-day, like when you do stuff like that and that fog hits you, it's not the time when you take your foot off the gas pedal. Oh, I need a coffee. I just that and the third. No, baby. Let that stuff fly off of you. Let that stuff come down. Because that's you got to think about it. If your lymphatic system literally starts from the top of your head to the bottom of your feet, if it literally, if the highway stretch all the way like that, you don't think that you have nodes and vessels and wires in your brain and your neck. And you literally have nodes. All, like if you was to sit there and you clog and you do this for 15 minutes, like your nose is going to open up like you're going to be able to slightly breathe better because the cavities are going to be able to have them like if you even do this there's put your finger in your cheekbone there's a there's a duct right underneath here and you massage it outward especially people with sinus and allergy problems all that you're gonna start spitting up mucus why because your lymphatic system has been stagnated and it, that's why lymphatic massages were created people like to say oh massages don't do nothing for me blah 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 do it at least bi-weekly or at least once or twice a month watch the difference start eating right watch the difference reason why i say detox yourself if y'all look at if, if y'all if y'all suffer with anything that i've talked about so far you automatically need to go to shop right now get out the live and go get my detox go to coach brian she said my cheek my cheek ducks stay sore your sign is ducks your sign is probably irritated but um go to go to coachbrian.com i'll click the link in my in my bio and go get the detox and come back i'm gonna still be on here so let's talk about the third thing now remember i said trigger warning I'm about to start pulling out the pictures. I, we talked about constipation. Now, Chelsea, I know you're on here. It ain't nothing crazy, crazy to like, like no, no nudity or nothing like that. I ain't about to get flagged. But I got to show people some surgeries. I got to show people what some stuff look like when it get clogged up. This that, and the third. But we about to talk about we're on number three on the list. We're on constipation. So let me pull that picture up real quick. The Q&A is gone. Oh, <laughs> I don't know. The Q&A is gone. Let me see. I'm about to pull up this picture, y'all. Like I said before. Like I said before, I didn't warn y'all. I didn't give y'all the trigger warning and stuff like that. If you're not with the queasy stuff, if you're not with the truth, if you're not with trying to see that, this ain't for you, this ain't for you, dog. So before I even show y'all that, let me break down what we about to look at. 
I want to break it down for a second. Because I don't want to take y'all in there blindly and y'all don't really know what's going on. No, not this, not yet, not yet. So, this is what, I'm not even going, I'm, is there a three-day detox? No, ma'am, you need way more than three days. Uh, can you please tell me if L-glutamine is good for constipation? We're going to get to that. Save all y'all questions for the end. We're going we gonna to get to that. I got to, literally, if y'all was to just, like, let me get through the next, the next four or five uh, points I'm about to make, nine times out of ten, most of y'all questions are about to get answered. I'm just going to keep it a buck with y'all. But, let's break, I'm not even going to do the all the full intestine. Let's just break down the colon. So, you have what's called the ascending, I'm trying to make sure my fingers there, the ascending colon, right? So, when your food finally gets down through there, this is where the real, like the final process starts, right? So you have the ascending colon. So now whatever you ate has to work and convulse itself all the way back up, right? So now we get to the transverse colon. Now remember what I've been preaching y'all about, about the transverse colon. If you really look at it, if you take a diagram and flip it to the side and really look at the anatomy of the transverse colon, you'll see that your liver, your pancreas, and your kidneys, the things we just talked about, is right there. Y'all don't, don't see that correlation? They're literally parallel to each other and pretty much touching. And what does the pancreas and the liver secrete whenever we're eating? Digestive enzymes, salts, biles, insulin, all those different types of things. And it secretes and, and the transverse colon is sitting there just doing this, squeezing and pushing, squeezing and pushing. So imagine we are our, our, our intestinal highway is already three times the length of our height. So it just got to the last, last part. And if you're the average person that's blocked up, constipated, don't even use the bathroom every day or at least two times a day, it's going to take a day or two for it to get out your system because your 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 digestive system is stagnated. The reasons why I say get this dog on detox, but I'm going to break it down some more. So now the food's here and it's working. And now we get to this, this little cornerstone right here and then we get to the descending colon right there. So you see how it moves? I wish my other thing could pop up. You see how it goes from here and there knows this corners and turns everywhere and notice how these little muscles they have the little the line way and you have the muscles the little bees that, that contract each each weight so now when it gets to the point to the descending colon so now it's trying to work its way to get out now everything that you've been mushing up and eating up if it's not if it's not combining properly if it's not fiber if it's not high in fiber if it's not even malleable enough to be turned turned down it's just a glob of glunk and when you think about cheese and you think about like white rice because wild rice isn't bad all the natural rice are not bad, but you start thinking about white rice. You start thinking about the heavy starches that you mix with meat. We like to eat meat and cheese with crackers, and we like to eat hamburgers and cheeseburgers, stuff that turns li into literal uh, uh, gastrointestinal glue inside of our bodies. It's moving like a snail, as opposed to if you used to be in a high fruit and volume uh, diet, that thing doing this. Yeet, yeet, like it's getting up out of there. So now imagine all that stuff getting here, and now it gets to this part of the colon right before it gets to the anus and the rectum and your body is trying to process and push that out but it's been working like i said before for about two days and and guess what the average person ain't gonna eat one meal every two days that's just one meal we're talking about so a lot of stuff with this sticky substance is just stuck in here and it's getting all corroded and stuck in there so whenever we our body notice Whenever y'all go, y'all actually sit down and use the bathroom. Does it not make sense that you've eaten three, four, five, six meals throughout the day? Some snacks, some this, that, and the third, and you're pooping out pebbles, and you're pooping out little turds that be this big. Like I'm somebody that I don't eat a lot, a lot, but I eat enough. And I know it with the amount of food that I eat throughout the day just to satiate myself and to make up for all the uh, energy expenditure that I do via training my clients and working out and dealing with my dog, my very active dogs, and doing stuff around like just being me. I'm not, I'm not gonna expect no little pebble to come out of me after I didn't eat by three, four meals by the end of the day. I want a log, or at least two. And then the average person, I had a client that could only use the bathroom once a week, once a week. And she was like, "Wow, well, I can't control my weight." And this, that, and the third, baby, you're backed up. They like to say this hereditary. They like to say that, or oh, the high blood pressure is caused from this, that, and the third. Oh, you got diabetes because this, that, and the third. Your bro, your colon is backed up. You need to poop. You need to let everything out. It's stuck. Reasons why I made this system, y'all. And look, I'm not fussing at nobody because I know I'm a little passionate right now. Don't think I'm fussing at you, but I'm just trying to really get it in y'all heads that literally everything within our body was made intentionally. Like, I don't care what you believe in. Our anatomical structure was made intentionally. It literally works in perfect harmony. When one thing is off, the other side of the body tries to compensate for it and it may cause a problem, but it's gonna get the job done or at least try to. So the reasons why it's important 
So if you're going to decide to switch over or eat better or this, that, and the third or increase your volume or whatever you're trying to do, you have to flush your system at least once a month. I used to do my fast uh, every Wednesday. I don't really do it no more because I'm more so on a once a month slash really playing with my diet and see what I can do here and there because I got some stuff in the works. I'm really trying to get to y'all. But at least once a month, at least one time a month, give yourself a good flush. And the, the protocol, like the detox that I have, when y'all go to the site, y'all see Detox 2.0, and y'all go click it, guess what? When you're actually going to get it, it's not one of the things to where it's like, oh, thank you for buying and blah, 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 blah. No, baby. I'm breaking it down. The same way I'm talking to y'all now, y'all gonna get that master class in that 2.0. And then the, the structure that I give you, and then the leeway that I give you. A lot of people be giving you, let me tell y'all the secret about these real tummy teas, and we're gonna move on. Let me tell you the secret about these tummy teas. The reason why they work is because they put the most the most most just powerful laxative herbs inside of these little bags and stuff like that, and they make you take it. But what you don't realize is, yeah, you lose a lot of weight. And you poop a lot and it gets out your system, this, that, and the third. But that pulls so much hydration from your body. And the average person, if you need a detox tea or you're, you feel like as though you're in that bad of health, so you need to get one, you probably don't have the vitamins and nutrients or getting it from your diet to compensate from using the bathroom that much. Notice, whenever you're not eating properly, you're not excreting a, 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 a poop out properly. So whenever you actually start doing it, oh, my stomach is cramping. Oh, I got bloated and then a big push happened. And then, oh, this, this start happening. But when you start eating right and hydrating right, and then start putting the foods inside your body that's going to hydrate everything, it just slid out. Oh, I had a little brain fog, but then as soon as I let it out, oh, this happened and that happened, I feel 10 times better. Yes, because the system that I have is designed to hydrate you. And not with just H2O, but H3O2. Let's talk about it. Let's talk about how the more fruits and vegetables that you eat. Thank y'all for the follows, by the way. The more fruits and vegetables that y'all eat, the better. The, first of all, it's been scientifically proven. Don't just take my word for it. Y'all like to Google everything else. Go to Google. Go to whatever your, whoever it is that you go to on Google, this, that, and the third, and go look at it. It's been scientifically proven that fruits and, veg and vegetables hold way more nutrients and they're more nu uh, nutritionally dense than any other substance that you can possibly eat. It's been proven. Go look at Terry Washington. Dude been vegan slash raw food is have you whatever term you want to use for 30 plus years and look like he could bench press my house with his eyes closed. Like it don't make no sense. Look at me. I'm not the biggest person, but I was stuck at 135 for the longest doing sports. I was always in athletes in athletic stuff doing all of that work and I doing this that, and the third. But when I really switched to my true 80 20, I was like, oh, this would this would real healthy size look like I would get to 180 something on mostly meats and then be tired and sluggish. Sleeping all the time. Sexual performance was trash. Was trash. I'm not even going to sit on here on cap. I was busting fast. It was trash. But whenever I switched my diet and got my stuff together and started doing these detoxes and doing what I had to do as I made them, guess what? Guess what started happening? My mass came back. 180 felt different on me. I kept my speed. I'm a big soccer player and basketball player, but I play soccer over anything else. It went from me holding it down in the backfield barely to running six games back to back. And I'm going to give me a goal or two while I'm in there. Come on, y'all. Y'all got to y'all gotta understand. It's a game they play. And we got and we got to win it. We got to win it. Like, I'm not about to sit here and cap. I'm not about to sit here and put some stuff on here that y'all can't relate to. I'm not sitting here talking out my behind. Like, I'm studying. I'm going through it. And I'm helping people with it. So I'm not about to sit there and be like, oh, I'm holistic. Coach Brian, I've been doing this for X amount of years and ain't nothing happened to me. I went through detox symptoms. I went through withdrawals. I went through he the headaches. I went through passing parasites, which we're going to get to. Like, I went through all of that type of stuff before I even presented that to y'all. Like, I put my body through the test, but I'm not about to sit here and cap. I'm not about to sit here and be like, oh, yeah, let's talk about the colon, blah, 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 blah. And I ain't never been constipated. If y'all if y'all know my story, y'all know how sensitive my stomach is. God didn't make my stomach as, as, as iron-plated as my father's. My daddy could eat a dog on license plate. And pass that junk by the next two hours and go go to work like nothing happened. I don't know what what he I don't know. But with me, no, not happening. My stomach will flip upside down and you got to pump me. That's why now I'm at the point where I just have to eat a certain type of way to keep myself together. But I digress. Let me go into the next topic. Let me go into and I see y'all questions yet. Like I said before, save y'all questions for the end. I mean, y'all could ask, I'll go back up and scroll, but like, if y'all really want to like get them answered, answered, like wait towards the end. But at the end of the day, what we about to talk about probably is going to answer a lot of y'all questions. I'm going to just, I know there's a lot of new people keep coming up in here. So we're going to just, we're going to just bust it down like that. All right. What are we moving into next? We already talked about the colon. We talked about that. What's the next point? I want to make sure we stay on the point because I can get off task. So the next thing we got is headaches. I already talked about headaches. I feel like I, I feel like y'all understand that already. We talked about, oh, bloating, Whoo! constipation and bloating. Let me show y'all something. 
This is a trigger warning. I'm going to let y'all know right now. Trigger warning. Hold up. I'm about to pull it up with a picture. I had it saved. Trigger warning, y'all. I know a lot of y'all, a lot of y'all soft, a lot of y'all, well, I ain't gonna say soft, let me not, let me not be rude. A lot of y'all ain't built like me, like this stuff don't really bother me like it bother y'all. Look at this, look at this, look at this. Y'all know what this is? Y'all saw how we just talked about the intestines and the colon? This is, what you think, what y'all think up in here? What y'all, what y'all think up in here? I'll wait. I, tell me in the comment section what y'all think up in here. And I know I got a little bit of a lag, so I'm gonna give it about 30 seconds. What y'all think up in here? Look at it. Look at it. We gonna we gonna talk. Oh, we gonna talk. What y'all think up in here? I'm gonna give y'all 10 more seconds. What y'all think up in here before I give y'all the answer? Cause we've been talking about it for the past. Now I know. Yeah, these are intestines, but what's inside the intestines? And but okay, I got parasites. What else? What's, what's next? What's next? Yeah, cause it's the stomach, the intestines, all of that stuff down there. Other than parasites, what's in there? Bo Thank you. Give me some. Give me some more. One, I'm gonna wait for one more answer, and then we are gonna keep going. Bo Thank you. I'm glad y'all understand it. This is. I thought that was the larvae from the movie. <laughs> no, girl. Um, this is literally what I was talking about. This is literally what I was talking about. They had to. This person. Now, I'm not saying this is everybody, but this is what happens whenever your body goes untreated and you don't detoxify yourself at least once a month. Like, uh, th like I said before, the average person really ain't fat. They really ain't big. Y'all like the body isn't even designed like that. But y'all have like this person literally had 40 to 50 pounds of waste and tar and gunk just in there. And they had to surgically take that stuff out. Dude got a whole gastrointestinal sleeve and all that type of stuff. And I mean, y'all think we y'all think us holistic people be up in here BSing. I'll be trying to tell y'all, watch what y'all mix in. Why I, I made a video for the app that we about to drop. I made a video for that the other day, and, and I ain't gonna lie, I almost cried at the end of the doggone video because when I really sat back and thought about like the road that my life was on, forget everybody else, the road that I was on. Before I'm getting emotional right now thinking about it, but like if I would have never really tapped into this stuff and tried to take care of myself and others, like this would have been me. This would have been me. Y'all think I'm capping? When I, bro, 2013, when I was first got into college, my first little taste of freedom and money, every day. You would catch me and you, and you would never think like, oh, well, he's skateboard everywhere and he's in band and he running two, three miles a day. He's in shape. I was eating honey buns, zebra cakes. Uh, uh, you, I was eating gunk, having like stomach problems, all, bro, all that type of stuff. And if I would have stayed on that, if I would have never got into this stuff, if I would have never really tapped into real biology and nutritional science and how the, the anatomy works, I would have been this person. This would have Popeye's boxes like like I would have been this person. Forget everybody else. I had to do this for me. Like I'm not just on here, bro. I'm the last person y'all got to worry. And I'm not trying to plead. I'm not trying to do no plead deal or nothing like that. I'm the last damn person y'all need to worry about about scamming y'all. I know they be having trolls in my comment section at this point. I ain't even gonna lie. I keep the comments at this point because it's a badge. It's like, if I didn't got to this point to where you feel like you got a troll on me, good. At the end of the day, you know what your conscience is on. And your conscience is going to be heavy whenever you really think about what you did. But at the end of the day, this is what I'm not trying to get to. This is what I don't want y'all to get to. This I don't ever want nobody to get to this point. But it happens. It happens. So that's why whenever we make things for y'all, well, specifically me, because I can't speak for all these other people. But whenever, whenever I make stuff like this, and shout out to Chelsea and Moss. I'm going to be real with y'all because I'm a very blunt and I'm a very straightforward type of person. And sometimes I really don't care because I'm just going to be passionate. I'm going to say and do what I want. But Chelsea really be Chelsea and Moss really be ironing this stuff together. Like, hey, you need to explain this a little bit more. Because sometimes I feel like people should just understand. But they reel me back in. So if Chelsea, if you still up in here, I love you and I appreciate you. But um, y'all need to understand, like, like I, I laid it down in that detox. I laid it down. Like, I believe it's like 37 pages. So you paying for like 37 pages worth of info. Let me double check. I think it's like 37 pages. Because y'all ain't about to have me lined up in here. Because I want y'all to I want y'all to really feel me. I want y'all, I want y'all to really like grab a hold of what I'm trying to put down. We got 34 pages. My bad, not 37, it's 34 pages. Like, man, nobody come come playing no games with y'all, bro. Ain't no ain't nobody playing no games with y'all, bro. Like, this this is what I'm trying to keep y'all away from. This is what I don't want y'all to go through. Because you know what comes with this? Now you done knocked off 20 years of your life. Now you can't see your kids grow up. Now you can't see the, the things that's meant for you. Now you can't walk around how you want to. Now you can't do this, that, and the third. But y'all call people like us crazy whenever we out here trying to be holistic and keep things righteous and keep things flowing organically. 
Y'all call us crazy, but when, when we say, oh, well, parasites cause this and heavy metals in your blood cause this. And when you mix this with this, this what happens. Oh, no, tell them, tell them, sir, and blah, 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 blah. Joking and being sarcastic in my comment section like some clowns. But guess what? Guess what? Y'all going to see. Y'all going to see. Let's go to let's go to the next slide. Let's go to the next slide. Let me show you all another diagram. You remember what we talked about with the colon, right? You remember we talked about the transverse colon and all of that? Look how wide the vessels are stretched look how little leeway all these other things that we're eating and it's probably junk going through and stuff like that look and then it gets clogged look at that it's clogged like it can't even get through your body can't absorb it you know what your body absorbs the most hydration it's in the colon like it literally gets to a certain point in the colon to where like whatever hydration is left for the body to grab is gonna rip it like, if you notice people that have, prime example, people that eat a lot of cheese, dairy, like high, high, like red meats, they have the stickiest and the stankiest poo. I'm talking about like, it's so dense and, and like just consolidated in there. So when they, they ever notice how like when they pass stuff too, and even if, even if I'm talking about you, how you got to wipe so many times. Oh, Brian, how you know this? Because I, I was that person. I was that person almost 10 years ago. I was that person. Like... Bro, you get to a point to where your body is like, I'm I'm doing the best I damn can. I'm doing the best I can. And this is what this is what I could push out. It is what it is. And that's how things get to rolling. That's how things move. Whenever you live in, in a in a what we call a sad a sad diet. Acronym for sad uh standard American diet. And I'm not even saying that because I'm black. Like, dude, a lot of us, we should not be eating this way. White, black, I don't care what you are. You should 90% of your meals should not be meat and complex sugars and carbs. That's just scientific. I don't care if you blue, brown, black, purple, red, mangaroon, with a picachot. I don't care what you are. Fix yourself. Detox at least once a month. And the beautiful part about this joint is guess what? It's you can reuse it. It's not one of the things to where it's like, oh, I got it and he laid it all out and blah 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 blah. And I don't know what to do with it. Don't, no, y'all can literally go back like, oh, y'all know what time it is. Detox challenge. Like, that could be y'all thing. It's like, y'all know how I am on the first of the month. I got to do that 2.0. And then like for the first, imagine the first 10 months. I mean, the first 10 days of each month, you give your body a reset. Y'all ain't going to drive 10,000 miles without putting all in your car. You're not going to let your brakes squeak all down the road if you got the money to fix it. Or if you if you need to fix that joint, thank you for the heart, my love. Like... Like, y'all not about to sit here and, and let your car go undone because oh, I got to get to work. Treat your body like that. Treat your body like that. At least once a month, get you a little tune up. Get you a little something. Get you something. Like, y'all, I'm going to keep going because I'm going to be on this thing all day. I'm going to keep going. I'm going to keep going. What we got next on the on the list? We got, let me see where we at. I got to scroll all the way back to the other side because that screenshot was way in the back of my camera roll. Let's talk about poop for a second. Let's talk about it. Let's talk about it. Okay, let's talk about it. So, type one. For the people that's typically constipated and y'all not really eating properly and y'all jacked up, number one is probably going to be you. You got the pebbles. They say separate hard lumps like nuts and it's difficult to pass and it, and it indicates constipation. Ain't no indication. You're constipated. Because a lot of people think that constipation is, oh, I'm just not having bowel movements and blah, 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 blah. No, constipation is when you think... And you'd be like, oh, well, I ate. And let's just be honest. Let, let's say it's the average person, right? Oh, I, this morning I had my eggs and bacon or whatever. Um, I went to Chick-fil-A on my lunch break. And 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 for my snack, this, that, and the third, I had a whole bunch of uh, fruits or whatever. For my dinner, I had uh, I had a whole bunch of heavy meats and spaghetti, blah, 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 blah. Barely eating any fruits and vegetables, right? And then when you use the bathroom, you get if a little handful of Skittles. How that make sense? That don't make sense. How that make sense? Like, y'all don't y'all not realizing what's going on right now? So, like, people that have this, I know the doctors like to tell y'all, oh, well, you not having a bowel movement is the clearest sign, is the beginning stages of constipation. No, if you're not having bowel movements, you're on the more severe side of constipation. You're more so on the side of constipation to where it's like, all right, we gotta uh we gotta deal with this. We got we gotta fix this because at this point, bro, at this point, you you kind of you jacked up from the floor up. And that's and that's just that that's type one. Type two, you got them little sausage shape shape, but lumpy. That indicates constipation as well. That's them little hard. And if y'all notice, they be hard. Like that, I didn't been through it. 
Like, hi, hi, he know I didn't been through it. I'm trying to talk to y'all. I'm trying to keep it a book. Like, when them things shoot out, especially if you got gas, clink. Like, you, you, bro, I wish I had some metal in a cardboard right now. Y'all know what sound I'm talking about when that joint hit the, the toilet bowl. Clink. Like, come on. It's like somebody shoot marbles out your booties. <laughs> so, let me tell y'all something. Like, y'all have to do right by y'all bodies. Y'all y'all really do. But we let's keep going down through it. Now, number three is the sausage shape. With the surface cracks and his ideals to it, it's easier and it's often to pass. Now, I ain't gonna lie to you. They're not showing it, but to me, the type that's perfect for the body is in between three and four. I'm not gonna sit there saying three and four is perfect, but that those are really good signs of stool. But you really want to shoot for that in between because, well, I'm saying shoot for like we could sit here and, and, and go inside and mold it. No, but like when it comes out to your eating and things of that nature, it'll be dope. For you to like shoot in between that because you you know that this is going on YouTube just so you know coach doesn't even know yet but it's happening I'm weak but um but like whenever you got stuff in between like that it's 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 typically you have a, a better sense of nutrients in your body your your stool is actually passing how it needs to pass now and if you and look I don't even think I, I put the no I did put the squatty potty video out like if you use a squatty potty and you eating good and I, I, I y'all probably gonna think I'm capping so I'm gonna give y'all two examples first example I'm gonna use myself of course when you use the bathroom. And like you go to wipe and I don't know about y'all. I check every time. I'm going to check every time. I need to know what's coming out of me. I need to know what color it is. I need to know the shape size, all that type of stuff. And when I'm and then when you wipe, it's barely going to be anything on there, especially if you got a squad potty. Let me show y'all a trick, though. Squeeze yourself. Put your cheeks like kind of at the end of it. Sink down a little bit to where it kind of, you know, it spread a little bit. And then when your legs kind of up a little bit on the, on the squad potty, when you push, it just it just fly out. Now, granted. I got to start bringing my phone in the bathroom because I'd be on the angle. I could be in the bathroom for like an hour. I'm not even going to cap. That's just me. And I, I have to stop doing that. But what I'm saying is if you if you really taking care of yourself and you really eating right. And especially if you doing if you're doing like this detox, which is going y'all going to see is one of the things to where it's like you're going to experience a whole nother level of bowel movements. If you've been if you've been constipated, I have a YouTube. Go to my YouTube. I have a YouTube. Type in Coach Brian on YouTube. I'm going to pop up. But um, if you really experiencing all this type of stuff. And you constipated and you don't really use the bathroom the right way. And then you actually call your... And shout out to everybody. It's 102 people up here. Y'all tap the screen and show some love. Shout out to y'all. 104, my bad. But um, if you do all this stuff the right way, it's going to fly out. Like, it's going to... And you're going to be good. But um, let's go to the next one. Let's go to the next one because we run out of time. Um, Type 5 is the soft blo soft blobs with clear-cut edges. And that indicates diarrhea and uh and urgency of... I forgot what the other little parts say. But I feel like that's... I feel like everybody definitely knows what this is. But you know what else that you know what else that means that most people don't tell you or what they're typically not going to tell you? It's signs that your fiber levels at that point is pretty much non-existent. And especially if you're somebody now, to me, that's whenever like other than type one, notice the further way we get from these two, how it gets more severe. Right. So um, just like type one, kind of like top type five down here, like if you're noticing that you're eating three to four meals a day and you getting Skittles. Are you getting little blobs of soft whatever? I don't even. I can't even think of a name to put this thing on right now. That's a clear indication. Cause think about how big your plate is. Let's let's really think about that. Think about how big y'all the average plate is. And then like you eating at least three four three four of those every day. And then like you go to use the bathroom and it's like you get a little bloop, 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 like little little something like that. That don't ring a bell. That don't make you be like what's going on. But it's hot. But whenever it's like it's loose like that, like. Let me tell y'all something. Y'all fiber levels are really, really low. Y'all hydration level is really, really low. And then wet dog food, that's the one. That's the one. Wet dog food. Because that's exactly what it looked like. And that's probably what it smelled like. But let me tell y'all something. Because we're going to move on to, I know I'm moving a little slow. But um, it, pretty much same thing for this on down. Like at the water, the more watery it gets and cloudy it gets, your body is, is going through some type of some type of inside uh, back, foreign bacteria. Like, cause you gotta think about the stomach in general, like these enzymes and acids that's within there. It's like anytime a foreign substance comes in there, and I'm saying foreign, meaning like a, a bacteria that your body isn't used to, or foods that your body isn't used to. Like notice people go to Mexico, right? And they say don't drink the, the tap water because it's a different type of water out there. It's not as filtrated as ours. It's not the same uh, bacteria as ours. It's not the same soil as ours. And you notice a lot of people get sick. They get diarrhea, things of that nature. Especially with people that just freshly move out there. But that's because your body and your gut isn't used to that type of enzyme, that type of bacteria. Like, it's pretty self-explanatory at that point. But, <clears throat> like I said before, that's what that's pretty much like. This whole chart is based off of your diet. It's based off your, your diet. And like, ooh, she's talking about worms. We're going to get to that. We're going we gonna to get to that. We're going to get to that. Don't worry. We're going to get to that. I love when I start seeing stuff like that. Y'all not queasy. 
I started posting the, the the weird stuff and the surgeries and the and the pictures, all of that, and we jumped up from like eighty something to like a hundred and two people up in here. I like y'all. I can take my filter off. I like y'all. What's next on the list? Uh, let's see. Skin rashes, trouble seeing, and difficulty concentrating. So now we're talking about the neurological side effects of this. So let's before we even dive into that, because I kind of I was so ex excited I kind of skipped the um the signs of like acne and stuff like that so let's dive into acne for a quick little second because especially people that have the worst symptoms of, of acne and things of that nature remember how we talked about earlier how the skin the skin the uh the skin is the third kidney essentially these i'm about to break down which each different one means and why it's happening so blackheads right they say it's dead skin cells and pores and, and oxa what is it oxidized whatever and they say in treatment is uh salicylic acid no Let's let's not even let's not even try to open that weird little box they're trying to create. Blackheads and I don't want to, bro. Look, I'm just gonna have to, I'm, this one of the moments to where I just gotta I gotta keep it a buck with y'all and y'all not gonna like what I'm about to say, but it is what it is. Blackheads are poop. That's literally what blackheads are. They're poop. Your body couldn't get it out. Your kidneys couldn't filtrate it properly, so it shot it to the skin, and it's gonna just it's giving poo. It is giving constipation. It's giving, I couldn't come out your butt, so I'm coming out your nose. Like, that's essentially what blackheads are. And granted, they have these things to where it's like they get these little porous things and the suction things and they pull it down and they do all that. And they got these little collagen masks that honestly don't really go through the skin, but I'm going to leave that alone. That's a whole nother lie because I'm going to really start stepping on some toes then. But um, you have all of these things that, that build up inside the body. And you have to understand that it's all diet. People be like, your skin brine and blah, 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 blah. Like, I'm going to keep it a buck with y'all. I ain't the, I ain't like perfect with my eating. I eat majority of fruits and vegetables. But it's like, I didn't get this skin until I started eating like that. Because in college, whenever I first graduated high school, baby, look, that, that little preteen skin flew out the window. Like, I'm talking about just bye, Brian, like it went somewhere else. I started getting like, and then on top of that, I'm in this band uniform at college, this little strap with my little symbols and stuff like that. And like all this sweat and all that in that uniform and I break out after a game. Well, yeah, my face already filthy. You know what I'm saying? Like my stomach already trash. But when I started cleaning up my diet, when I started learning how to detox, detox myself properly, y'all see the skin that Coach Brian got now. And don't worry about my eyes. I know my eyes are red, but my glasses are off. I went swimming and this little ring light be, be agitating my eyes. But I'm doing this for y'all. I'm doing it so don't don't come for me like that. But um that's why my skin be popping now. Is because and then granted, granted, I love me some cold pressed fruit juice. If you start diving into if you're somebody who if your body accepts um yeah, welcome to my TED talk. If you're somebody who loves fruit like I do and fruit juices, you will eat like almost instantaneously see results via skin. Because I'm I'm explaining the rest. Okay, so we got white heads. Clog pores that are closed at the surface of the skin. So essentially what's happening is your kidneys ain't working properly and your skin dry. And your skin don't have the nutrients because we are, you got to remember, we're porous creatures. We are very porous creatures. The reason why certain things we can't touch or we get, we touch certain plants and stuff like that and we whelp up or we catch these rashes because it's going directly to our blood. If we didn't have pores, when we touch poison ivy, when we touch all these other chemicals and stuff like that, nothing would happen. We'd be like, oh, it's just poison ivy. La, 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 la. Like, it'll be, the, it'll be like that. But that's not, no. Like, that's not, the, that's not the truth. The truth is you're a porous creature. So whenever these things go within your blood system and you're not, and you're not hydrating yourself, you're not, because shea butter ain't just for black people, y'all. Get y'all some whipped shea butter. Like, now granted, you, you in the, the routine with shea butter, but you know, because that's a, it's more of a sealant, just like oil is more of a sealant. You don't put oil on your face, then water. That's backwards. But, um... You know, when your skin's not hydrated, whenever you're not eating properly. And then then on top of that, the food ain't really digesting all the way. So the gunk that's coming out is undigested food. So it's like you got all that stuff stuck in there. Like that's that's not as bad as this, but it's borderline that. So that's just worry about that. So now these is infected pores that fill with pus. Now, a lot of people that eat a lot of a lot of um beef, a lot of beef and heavy red meats, they struggle with this a lot because the body 
can't well it overproduces acids or digestive enzymes right so in your body already probably constipating can't process it and you may have inflamed or very sensitive skin to begin with this is why i feel sorry for people that's more acne prone that have more sensitive skin than i do because if you're already eating bad and you don't and it behooves you and you don't really understand like how this process works whenever you start getting into this territory and that type of acne starts forming you got a real problem like you got a flush on a, like that reason why i have the detox that i made y'all please go get it like this is one of the things where it's like your body is telling you stop like these two was already screaming stop don't get me wrong but this was like please stop like you already eating stuff that i can't break down properly I, and, and it's pre it's trying to save the body from acidosis honestly is it's trying to save itself so because pus is acidic so it's trying to push it out and get it out whatever type of way it's possible and if you ever notice look how potent it is you pop it right because they say don't pop it but if you pop it you wipe it or do whatever now it pops up all right here because it didn't reabsorb back into what the pores we just talked about the pores and now it's back in there now you didn't infect it and inflame the whole nother area we have to clean out the body that's the whole reason why i'm even on this live right now like go get the detox y'all but now these all of these right here, y'all can't even see my finger. God dog, finger help me out, finger. All of these right here, well y'all know what I'm talking about. The bottom row, the bottom row. It talks about hormonal and more inflamed type of skin, but honestly, it's lesser ways, it's lesser versions of the top row. The top row is like, okay, well we can't pass it. Let's put it here. The bottom row is like, okay, we can pretty much pass some of this stuff, but all the side effects and the bad parts of it, we're gonna just send it out here because we can't do nothing with that. We don't know what to do with that. So. It's inflammation. It's acid. It's poop. It's poop. I, like, I don't, I, I'm really not trying to offend nobody because, you know, they got people that have acne, but I need you to understand that it, your body is taking a poop on itself. And if you literally was to just go get the detox and do it, like, and, and like, just do it and watch the difference. Watch the difference. Oh, it's just 10 days. What can 10 days do? Watch. Thank you for the rose. Watch the difference but we're gonna move we're gonna move we're gonna move it's almost nine o'clock we're gonna move because i'm hungry <laughs> i'm hungry all right y'all so for all my my people that don't have that don't have queasy stomachs because y'all already showed that y'all don't have it we about to go into parasitic uh territory so i know a lot of y'all was raising hell whenever my other video and yeah and you know what you know what we about to repin that video we about to repin it back to the top Cause I'm, I'm, I'm kind of, I went through, if y'all was on one of my other lives, y'all already know how emotionally how I feel about it. Chelsea and them know especially how I feel about that video. That was one of my first viral videos. And then I had to learn how to deal with the world because y'all some a-holes. Not y'all, but them. But um, now we're about to dive into parasites. The final topic. We're about to dive into parasites. And we're going to wrap this thing up and I'm going to get up out of here. But I want y'all to see it. I really want y'all to see it. I don't want y'all to just hear it. I want y'all to see it. We got four pictures we're going to run through. One, two, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. First, first picture. That's this is a it's a uh this is a parasite that was in what the lady has said. It was a parasite that's located in the uh in the ascending colon. No, 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 no. It was in the small intestines. It was in the small intestines. So we can't sit here and say it ain't like look at the look at the intestinal fluid. I wish my fingers wouldn't blur out. Look at the intestinal fluids. Look at how the stomach right here. It can like it is meant to convulse. It's meant to push things through. But notice how his little raglet behind just sitting right there. La la la. I'm sitting here chilling and living my best life. Like, ain't they ain't they annoying? Like they just they just on some other stuff. They just be like, I know the body works like this, but this person eats like this. I love this food. Well, let me let me slow down. Let me let me let me show y'all how this stuff gets inside of y'all body. Cause a lot of heaven went about the protocol. Why are you worry about other people? You go. Get... Yes, other people has bought the protocol. The protocol has just come out today. Other people have has uh, have bought it. You should go buy it. If you're somebody that's new that's up in here that hasn't seen the beginning of the live, we have more than ten thousand reasons why you should do it. This is also going to be uploaded on YouTube, so you should go get it. But um, what was I about to say? So here's how we get these things. So a lot of y'all hear me talking about um improper food combining and is that in the third and blah 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 blah. So one. They start off like, y'all gotta realize, I can't, like, even though I'm doing this, even the space between the other space of the space inside of my finger is how small they typically are. Now, 
they have different eggs and stuff like that you're eating certain foods and they're on that or you're in certain areas and they're coming within the body now somebody that detoxes at least once a month and they're eating properly because even if you eat fruits and vegetables like sometimes they're on there the reason why we say clean it off but if you have a healthy system it eradicates within seconds like within hours of it being in your body you have a, a, a balanced body so it just you know it just filters everything out but when you're somebody that doesn't eat properly and you're combining like you're eating a lot of hamburgers a lot of hot dogs a lot of starches and cheese and sugar and stuff together you're giving it a place to grow you're giving it something to rest in you're giving it something to to forge in and parasites are just like rabbits they they give birth and multiply all it's like they have nothing else to do they eat they reproduce they reproduce they eat and guess what parasites poop too Every, literally every we're made up of trillions and billions of cells every cell within your body has poop like it poops it out it may not be like literally the, the the final product of what we actually see and excrete out is a compilation and a big summary of all the cells letting things go and all of the food that you ate condensing and stuff of that nature like that's that's what poop is like so these things are molecular and then sometimes they get to tangible, more visible points like this that don't require certain magnification. And they eat the bigger things. And they either, some of them even, even like, you ever notice like some people pass parasites and they, they have a little blood in their stool sometimes? They embed their self within the walls. So whenever they die, they're releasing. A lot of people don't even want to believe this, but we have a lymphatic, a lymphatic vein and valve that's in the base of our spine. And it correlates our lymphatic system and our uh, our uh, digestive system. So whenever we be saying how like, oh, what well, parasites, um, if you clean it in the base of the spine, sometimes they come out this way and that way. Oh, how that working, blah, 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 blah. You are literally wired with lymphatic vessels and, and passageways and all of that. With car You got to think about it. You got blood vessels. Uh, you got lymphatic vessels. You have bronchial tubes. You have neurological pass pathways. You have a uh, uh, skeletal pathways. Like no, no, baby, don't get scared. Um, like we have all these things within our body because that's that's the reason why I'm talking about the detox, detox right now. But um, and they and they get it. Like you gotta think about. It, they're trying to survive too. They're unwanted in us, but they're in, they're a living organism. They want to survive, but they survive off of fermentation, off of decomposition. Think about the parasitic kingdom. In, in general, I warned y'all. Think about the parasitic kingdom in general. Like, they, if you look at your trash can, you open it and you leave food in there, you're going to see maggots. That's what they thrive off of. Stuff, that, stuff that's been sitting there and it's rotting because they're the decomposers of the of the land. When you leave bodies in the dirt without all of this, um, all of this, uh, the caskets and stuff like that and the cement, the parasites and everything, they get in the worms because worms are another form of parasite. They get to the body and they decompose it. That's how this stuff works. That's how this stuff, and that's why, like, if all y'all that's new up in here, I'm talking about a very simple and easy way to just flush the body at least once a month. It's the new Detox 2.0 that I have, and you and just and go on my page if y'all don't wanna like, if y'all don't wanna um, like, I guess watch the rest of live or y'all didn't tune in y'all because we gonna have this on YouTube as well. But like, go on my page. I talk about this stuff a lot. I'm gonna be going live a lot too, just to kind of get y'all back in the flow of education and stuff like that. But. This is not something y'all should be scared of. You're talking to somebody who's past these things. This is not something you should be scared of when you detox properly, when you eat properly. Yes, you may go through detox symptoms. I even break that down in the, in the, uh, in the detox 2.0 when you buy it. Like I break down all that type of stuff. I break everything down. So this is, we should not fear anything. Let's start there. We should not fear anything because everything that we have going on within our bodies and on this planet is designed to help us out. We just have to help ourselves. But let's move to picture number two. Well, parasitic picture number two. Look at that. And if you really look, if I can get my hand up to get back into the frame, y'all see, well, I can't, I can't do it, but like I'm pointing right here, but when I move, y'all gonna see it. Y'all see them fecal bu bubbles? Y'all see, y'all see how like what it's eating is, look, it's trailing on those little, on all the little infected and, and nasty little parts. Like all of that, all of that stuff that they need to be swimming, be like, ooh. Oh, this is nice. This home, this feels good. Let me let me let me nibble on some of this. Let me let me eat and drink on some of this. Like it shouldn't feel like it's home, but that's what it feels like whenever it doesn't have the right things. Whenever you don't have the right things inside of your body, whenever you don't flush and you don't give yourself. Reason why I tell people enemas are imperative. Like enemas is one of the biggest detox tools out there. High fruit and vegetable diet is optimal. Like when y'all get this, when y'all go to my page, y'all go to coachbrian.com or click the link in my bio. 
y'all gonna get a 34 when y'all get the paris the uh not parasite the detox uh 2.0 the one i literally just dropped today when y'all gonna the first 10 i think it's the first 10 pages i believe let me double check the first like 10 pages is just straight education one two let me see one two three four five six. yeah the first a lot a lot a lot a lot a lot not the first it's the first seven pages the first seven pages is just straight information on how this stuff work on how the body do it this stuff like like the first seven pages will get you the way you need to be and then on top of that you got what's 34 minus 7 y'all that's 20 that's 26 i think we got left i can't think i, I came in, i'm in science mode i ain't in math mode don't judge me but all the rest of the, the book and the protocol is getting it out and cleansing it out you're constipated here's how you fix that you got high blood pressure here's a starting point you got diabetes let's reverse that oh you got you got cemented caked up fecal matter let's help you with that but y'all y'all ain't listening y'all ain't listening let me show y'all something else y'all y'all ain't listening y'all ain't listening you know the old folks say y'all ain't really listening to what i'm saying look at that that's the, and that's them zooming in if y'all and if y'all look because this is more on a microscope a little bit a little bit more smaller that's even more of them that's a bigger one but that's a whole look at that look at that and they just they just be like what's going on up in here oh this is my favorite song turn that up oh they got cheeseburgers up in here turn oh they got oh my god that's a hot dog oh that feel good like they be up in there getting it in and then they multiply like rabbits like i'm i, I could just i could go on for hours and hours about this i feel like i'm beating a dead horse at this point let me show y'all another picture because y'all know i got pictures for days hold up this is the last picture i'm gonna show y'all parasites look at that now now this is not now this way it gets crazy this this is this is this is crazy so this you can see the actual parasite right here linked into the wall but look how it's literally like making it's opening up the areas it's eating off of this causing it to bleed and you have what right here waste fermented waste all that right there so like I said, I could talk about it all day, but I'd rather show y'all. I'd rather show y'all what's going on in there. But I'm about to bring it to a close, y'all. I'm about to bring it to a close. Let me let me put my... Let's bring this to a close. There. So, before I get off this thing, what I need y'all to understand is decline. What I need y'all to understand is, first of all, the Detox 2.0 came out today. And if y'all been with me and if y'all been a part of this journey, y'all already went to the Detox before that. Y'all already know what's going on and y'all already know how I move. But this is different this is such an it's like if you take gentle and intense and put it together it's like you get the intense benefits but you get the gentle side of the process i literally have things set up to where if your biological clock well i'm saying biological clock if your intestines fire off at the rate that it should fire off whenever they're stagnated and you're constipating stuff like that day one to three i have the structure for everything and then when you get more inside the middle days before, because when you get to day nine and 10, you're going to be like, whoa, like when the benefits really start hitting, you're going to be like, whoa, but you're going to see what I'm talking about. It's going to be times where you feel like, oh man, what's going on? And then it just passes. Like you literally pass it out. Y'all going to see some stuff like this targets parasites, lymphatic gunk, fermented foods. It, 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 tar it targets inflammation, cystic weight, like it targets everything. So no telling what's going to come out of y'all. It depends on what y'all been eating. But I will say this, y'all should not be walking in fear. The last thing y'all should be walking in is fear. Why are we going to fear something we literally know how to eradicate and we can literally fix? We don't have time to be scared. We don't have time to be walking around, woe is me, and I'd just rather walk around, blah, 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 blah. Like I said before, you're cutting off the true joys of life. And then mentally and spiritually, when you really detox on a physical level, you open up other doors. You open up other avenues. Like there's a reason why when people really get into the habit and, I, and I'm not even saying a perfection because I'm not perfect. No, I don't care who you see. Dr. Sabi wasn't even perfect. Nobody's perfect because nobody's God. But like when you get to the point of to where like your body is clean and you have a system that helps you, my detox that I put out that you can reference once every month. And you're on a, you're floating on a, and they, they say vibration, but you're really floating on a higher spiritual level. You're going to see things differently. Your neurons are finally firing off a lot better. So now you literally can understand and process things better. Now you, you got more focus. Now you even sleep better. Now you move better. Now you have your bowel movements are pleasant. Now, now your bloat ain't bad. Now, when you actually hit your period, guess what? 
it don't hurt as much. You know, granted, I, I feel like raspberry leaf tea, y'all need to get on that. That helps too. But I ain't going to say it eradicates period cramps. I ain't going to say that. That's not true. But it's going to help out tremendously. And you're going to see all these benefits. You're going to be like, so I could have just did this. And I do this. And this is how this works. All right, cool. And then you're going to see. Then now your life takes over. Now you're going to adopt a new ideology of, well, if I want to get rid of this toxic person that's in my life, then I need to detox them out of my life. I need to push them away and move towards the things that's that, that I, I really need to move forward in my life and make space and make way with everything that's going to do beneficial for me. And that's nothing too. be selfish. They like to say being selfish is a bad thing. When it comes down to your health, be selfish because sometimes you can't you don't even realize that the person you messing with is toxic because you toxic. Not that you're a bad person, but you got stuff going on in, on the inside. It's like I'm going to just use this analogy. I didn't want to, but I'm going to use it. The reason why. When y'all have sex, it feels that good and you just can't leave it alone is because it pulls you away from all the gunk that your body's actually holding on to and the the trans not even gonna say the transgressions, but like the just like the elements that your body's holding on to, and you need something to like just push that stuff out of the way. And when that person fits, because it you know, everybody has their own fit. But when somebody has, whenever y'all find somebody that actually fits like that and you know they're not that good for you, but they, it's just something about them that keeps you coming back, back, back. Well, it's put, it's just knocking your gunk to the side. And it's like, woo, relief. Woo, it feels good. Woo. And then you just craving it again because the next day, whenever they doing what they're doing and you by yourself and you got to get back to how your body actually normally feels without any other foreign, you know what I'm saying? Like it's, it's y'all like, I'm just saying like, is we need to take this seriously. I'm not coming from a place of just books. And y'all know me like, hold up, I can, let me take this off so y'all can really focus on me. I feel like y'all focusing on that stuff behind me. Like, I'm really coming from a place of love. Like, if I was to turn this camera around, I have a plethora of books in here. I got books in my bedroom that I be getting fussed at every day to move and put stuff where it needs to go. But, and yes, I'm coming from a very educated place, but I'm coming from a personal place. I'm not going to sit here and tell y'all stuff that I haven't been through. I've been through toxic partners. I've been through toxic diets. I've been through medical problems. I've been through poor performance. I've been through all of that stuff. But it's the things that kept me going, the things that enhanced me, the things that even opened my eyes up to dive into this stuff was the things that detoxified my body, my mind, my spirit, my soul. Of all things that need to prosper, your soul should prosper. You should have heaven on earth, period. So heaven on, on earth gets to you when you cleanse yourself out, when you push those things out of your body, when you give your body a fighting chance. Most of y'all walk around with problems that y'all don't even need, that y'all didn't even really ask for. Y'all just started coping in certain ways and it just turned into something else. All certain little ideologies was passed on down to y'all and y'all don't know what y'all haven't been introduced to anything like this. A lot. That's a lot of y'all first time even hearing about something like this. But guess what? This is going to change the world. I speak it into existence. This is going to change the world. There's going to be hundreds and thousands of people that come to me, that's going to come to y'all to get to me, to get to y'all, to get to us because we are family. We're connected. Everybody is connected. All of this stuff is meant to pull us together, to cleanse us and to keep us focused and push us forward. And if we don't tap in, if we don't detoxify our bodies, if we don't detoxify, thank you for the rose, if we don't detoxify our minds and our spirit, we're only going to go downward. It's only going to get worse. That's why I say lead with peace. Lead with y'all hear me say it all the time. Peace and love. Y'all do right by y'all bodies. Eat just some fruits and vegetables. Detox at least once a month. This ain't nothing crazy. This ain't nothing foreign. I've been on this earth 27 years. This information that I'm passing to y'all been on this planet for centuries. I just took the time to learn it. Concentrate to what y'all don't have to do it. And y'all can just be like, here, here you go. Here you go. Go do it. I mean, Dr. Sabi did it, Yaki did it, Ginger did it, you name it. They all did it. Dr. Africa did it. Dr. Melanie Stevenson did it. They just did all the work that, that most people don't want to do, and then they sold it to y'all. Because, I mean, they have to, I mean, if we're going to dedicate our life to education, we have to survive in this capitalist world. You know, so don't stop. Not, that's nothing I don't like. Stop knocking holistic people for trying to make a living because they're out here trying to make a living. Like, they, we trying to study this education. Y'all wouldn't, y'all not about to sit there and not pay y'all tuition at college. You're not about to sit there and, and, and go against your insurance and your car note because these are the necessities. 
These are the people that took the time to study these things and put these things into conception. And, and you got to think about it. This like the detox that I have out right now. It ain't just like, no, oh, it's just 34 pages. It's really 300 and like three, four, 500 pages worth of information in a little in, in that thing. And I tried to make it as simple as possible. You know how many times Chelsea and them been like, nope, nope, make it simple. Nope, nope, nope. Like you have like you have to understand that situations like this, like all 152 of us, count me 50, 153 of us up in here having this discussion, leading people to detoxification. It happens because people take the time to do what they have to do and regurgitate it to y'all. Now, when there comes a day where we can do this and we don't have to worry about living about and paying bills and stuff like that, I'll be the first person on that boat. But at the same time, I'm not about to sit here and act like I'm not human. I don't have and I don't have things to do. And I don't have responsibilities because if I was to, I promise y'all, if I was to go get a nine to five right now, y'all would no longer see me because there's no way I would have time to work that job, study these things, how I want to put it in pamphlets, do this and make video and content. That's too much. That's too much. So I'm going to just, I'm going to just keep it a buck with y'all. We are living in a time where things are changing. We had this talk earlier about how everything is changing in the next 10, 15 years. And I already explained that to y'all. For all the people that just uh, coming up in here, in the next few days, I'll have all of this on the, on, the, on our YouTube. Go follow me right now, Coach Brian. You can't miss me. You I'm the only person on social media that spells their name B-R-I-N-E and have the word coach before it and who's a holistic trainer. I'm the only person. I, sp I did it like that for a reason, so I'm very easy to find. But, like, take this and run with it. Like, CoachBrian.com. You can't mix. You can't miss it. Detox 2.0 or click the link in my bio. Like, go get this detox. Go do what you have to do. Move forward in this world and prosper. It's it, I'm saying it's that simple. But let me be your first step. You may not even know how to start, but let me be your first step. It's a lot deeper than detoxing inside that protocol. I'm going to just let you all know right now. Yeah, I, I break stuff down, but I really break stuff down. So I need y'all to go get it. I need y'all to heal y'all selves. And I need y'all to come back. Take Do y'all videos. Tag me. Day one, day two, hold yourself accountable. Because there's going to be days where you don't feel like doing it. I was that person. Hello, I was that person. Yeah, me. The person that's teaching y'all all of this type of stuff. I was that person. I didn't feel like doing a doggone 45-day fast. I didn't feel like doing all that type of stuff. But guess what? I stuck with it. So make yourself accountable. Post a video. They one of my challenges. How I felt. Tag me. I'm not scared of no smoke. Tag me. Everything I do is is biblical. Everything I do, I pray about it. I put information from all the the books and stuff that I study plus my own life. I don't run from this stuff. This is the truth. Tag me. Ask questions. Do what y'all have to do. Hold yourself accountable. Get through it. You can't say nothing until you get through it. Oh, it never worked for me. You stopped on day three. Oh, it never worked for me. You didn't hydrate properly. Oh, it was oh, it wasn't for me. You didn't even read through the whole thing. Go change your life. Let me be your first step. But as usual, we're going to wrap this thing up. Leave with love. Leave with light. Thank y'all for being up in here. If y'all haven't heard of me before, my name is Coach Brian. Please hit that follow button. Please hit that follow button. And do, 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 do. But, uh, <laughs> but I love y'all, bro. Y'all have a good one. Just like I said, just go, it's going to be on YouTube. I see a lot of people say, oh, I'm late and I missed this, that, and the third. And y'all having questions that I, I'm seeing a lot of questions that I already answered. It's going to be on the YouTube in the next few days. Shout out to all. Hey, hey, shout out. Before I get off, shout out to the crew. Like, uh, I don't want to, I don't miss nobody's name. What he at? Yeah, the people that normally be up here. Yeah, y'all up in here. Like, like the normal crew that be up in here that's been with me since January when we first, January, February when we first got on TikTok. Hey, bro, like, shout out to y'all. Y'all been here. Y'all supported me. Y'all got, y'all know the, the, the moment I'm talking about when I went viral for the first time and a bunch of hell came to my page with a whole bunch of trolls and I wasn't, I was trying to handle that and it was weird. Like, shout out to y'all for sliding in my DMs. Shout out to y'all for all of that type of stuff. Uh, I would do quick questions, Chelsea, but I've been yelling up here so much. My throat is getting, I don't want to push my throat too much because I, I know I'm, I'm going to be going live for the rest of the week. I don't want to, I don't want to push my throat out. But if y'all do have questions, feel free to um, slide in our DMs, uh, leave a question in the comments. I, I check comments every day, all day. Um, so leave a question in the comments, uh, go to my Instagram, coach Brian, go to my Instagram, slide my DMs. I'll see it there too. Like I'll answer the questions for y'all. And if it gets, if it, if it starts getting to a lot of the same questions, I'll just make a video about it. I have a system. We have a, a great system, but I love y'all. I think we hit like 150 some people today. Nothing beloved, nothing but peace. Y'all have a great one. I'll catch y'all next time.